Um, well, there's a lot of people here. So. <laughs> I wasn't kind of expecting that. My POL is really simple. Um, the overarching theme of it is I'm so glad that this program year is over. Um, <laughs> super, super true because getting a degree is one of the most important things to me, hands down, it's the only thing I really want to do. I don't care what it's in either. Um, it could be general studies or it could be what I really want and love to do, which is communications and marketing and advertising and all that. So that's one reason, that's the, the ultimate reason for why I'm glad this year is over. I got into PA last year for that reason. And last year it was all about identifying confidence in myself and refining it and kind of figuring out ways to project it. Um, I'm really glad that they focused on that. I'm really glad that that's an element of the program, public speaking, because as, here, as much as I hear, oh, Lauren, you're great at it, and this, that, and the other, so it doesn't change the fact that I still hate doing it. Um, <laughs> and I, I don't necessarily care that it's a requirement to graduate. But um, I'm glad that I get opportunities to do this because it gives me the platform to kind of tell you why things are so important. Um, when I was 18, I, went to, I did a year at undergrad at Indiana University in Bloomington. <coughs> and I did okay, you know. I was fresh out um, of high school, so going to college is always an exhilarating ex experience. But once my parents, once we, once we realized how poorly we felt going for higher education, I had to drop out and go home, go back home to Indiana, um, to Mer Northwest Indiana, and get a job, pretty much. And I have been working ever since. Um, in the background, every time I apply for a job, one of the things that really discourages me from a job application is that do you have a degree? And I'm just like, no, I don't. Um, in the last 10 years, I've been fortunate to have some really great positions that I've learned, that I've learned a lot from, but it is still hanging over my head how much I would love to have a degree. Um, so that's one thing that I've, I've taken from PA last year, refining that confidence. And this year, it was totally different. It was, complete, it was all about propelling that confidence and propelling myself to do even more. Um, from working with me, I know my allies and my counterparts and staff and all that know that I love people, I love networking with people, I'm really, really, really good at that. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad to have had a program that has allowed me to do one of the things about that and, and propel that confidence even more. Um, going back to the school thing, it's, it's super important when I put a little context around it. I am one of 27 cousins. My family on both sides, my mom and my dad are like one of 10. So there's a lot of cousins in there. Of those cousins, only two have their college degree. Um, the rest barely have a high school diploma. I barely made it out of high school due to some very poor decision-making skills at 18 and 17. Um, <laughs> in my immediate family, my mom is the one who has the associate's degree, and that's the highest level of education in my immediate family. So going, growing up, my dad is always like, you know, have a career, not a job. And the only way to do that is to get that degree. Um, being in this program has seen ripple effects just in my personal life and the things that I want and refining those goals. And also how I've managed to affect my parents even. My dad, after 30 years out of school, decided to go back to school last year. Um, and that's super cool. It's all coming out of the right time where that's just the focus. That's the focus of our household. We really love education. And I always want to align myself in situations that are continually focused on education, which is why Public Allies is so awesome. Um, and I'll be taking it with me everywhere. Uh, so I was placed at Planned Parenthood last year at a dual placement at Planned Parenthood and at the YWCA. Um, <laughs> interesting setup. Really glad that we don't have to do that anymore. And I spent all of this year being at Planned Parenthood. The work that I've done there has really caused me to um, refine the way that I even treat some of my coworkers. 
Um, prior to an experience like this, you're just kind of like taught, just put up with it, keep your, keep your head down, grin and bear it. But in this program, I found, and I found ways to take back to my placement for how I can still main, uh, how I can still deal with maybe that difficult coworker, but also encourage them to still push the project forward. And that's one thing that I'm really grateful for the program about. Um, leading a team this year was incredibly frightening up front. I did not know which bag of characters I was going to get. I did not know um, exactly how I was going to do. I feel super grateful again for having led one of the really one of a really cool group of people. Um, this entire class has been awesome, but leading a team that also knows how to manage itself is one of the most rewarding things I can probably take away. I think all of the people who have been accepted in this program have um, some super great skills that, uh, that they're going to be able to take with them everywhere, but leading this team showed me that I am growing in ways that I'm not even aware of. I appreciated gift seat quite a bit um, this year just to hear that I'm being clear in my focus and my direction with them and I'm expecting the same things the same things that I expect out of myself they're being mirrored in those individuals that I manage and uh, couldn't have had a better group of people to work with now with that being said there were some challenges um, and those are always uh, to deal with those are always tough to deal with individually but it was I think it's a reflection of my leadership and also the impact of this program to be able to apply some of the things around patience and giving people time and space to learn in a different type of way um, this program has given me much more than I think I've given it but I think leaving here I have so, so much to take with me and so much to just amplify in the world. Um, and with that, I've learned to just stay open and continuously learn anything that piques my interest and ask those questions. 